Today we're playing a deck that was sent to me by a YouTube member. We have a very secret Discord channel for everybody who is a member on the YouTube. And I asked them, hey, do you guys have any cool decks that I can play? And member The Best Defense sent me this banger of a deck, which comes down to putting Revna the Lorekeeper into the Black Flame. I made a lot of adjustments uh, because as Best Defense said himself, a uh, lot of tested deck, just something I threw together. I like the concept, so I took some of the cards, took out some of the cards too, and tried to create a version that soothes the way that I like to play Runeterra. So here we are with a Zed Brom deck, Revna the Lorekeeper, Black Flame, but we even have Master Bingwen. Or, you know, they're, they're really spicy plays if you want to put put uh, play Revna after Bingwen. It's pretty good. Beguiling Cobra too. Just all the stats all over the place. And we're going to see if we can make it work. Now, right now, judging by our hands, not much going on. But it is pretty pretty greedy. We have a, a lot of endgame. A lot of late game stuff. And that's, you know, that's that's important because you want big stats. You want them on big units. Big units often cost big mana. So <laughs> that's, that's the deck. That is it. That's all we're doing. Yep. I'm, I'm great at deck intros. I really am. I think I nailed that one. I, uh, I'm, I'm good with worse. I have a way with them. Anyway, no, seriously, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm excited to try this out. Should be a lot of fun if we if we can actually draw a unit. That is. Give me a sweet bun. Heightens the senses. <laughs> all right. On the bright side, you know, we're not dying anytime soon. I think. Maybe we are. Maybe we are. Alright, let's draw Revna. Let's just let's just get it out of the way. Let's draw Revna. Why the hell not, right? Main decking Riptide. Alright. Yeah, I also I put in some early game, I put in attentive account. Oh my god. I'm not even live. I'm recording this offline, which is why there's no chat. So it's not like Riot is watching. I just called for Revna. Riot didn't even know. Wait, <laughs> is Riot in my room or something? I know they can watch me when I'm live, but that's uh, that, that, that's scary right there. What the hell is happening? I like this, by the way, because this is the way to be deep. Uh, deep is a pretty popular deck. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has played against them multiple times. And very often you beat them by just going bigger than them. You just have bigger stats. And Revna is really good at that, especially when she's a 5 5. Just uh, casually giving the deck plus 5 plus 5. It's, yeah, that's pretty nice. There we go. We were born to rule. Yeah, there we go. That's an 8 8 for 3 mana. <laughs> How about that? Uh, sadly, we can't play it. That would have been. Wait. Wait, we can coin? Black Flame Revna this turn. Listen, that's really greedy. But it wouldn't be me if I didn't just make this play, would it? It wouldn't be me. So uh, best defense original version didn't have a lot of coins. I did put in a ton of coins, especially if you're playing Master Bingwen, which was originally in the deck. I felt like that was pretty necessary. All right, here we go. Give the deck another plus two plus two. So opponent, can we attack here? Maybe we have to pass, huh? Um, as much as I want to, they could just block here. I don't think I should do it. I think with all the greed, with how big our deck is, I don't think we need to do that. I think we're, maybe we just try to win off of this, right? Yeah, see, that's pretty good. That's a seven, six for one mana. That's, that's, that's gotta be decent. That's gotta be at least decent. And then next turn, we can start attacking with our stuff that, that is just bigger than them. Do that. You'll soon understand we'll stun this thing here. I don't want to take six elusive damage. Who does that? Who plays elusive, right? Who would do that? This is part of the training. Still taking seven here. Uh, but we have to knife for atrocity in case they run that. Oh yeah, I should say this is eternal. I uh, I, for I forget to mention that sometimes, but that is that is what this is. An eternal deck. And then we'll play a 9-8 for 3 mana. Alright. Now something I need to keep telling myself is I can die to Atrocity very soon. I need to remember that. Actually, we have two answers. We have Deny and Three Sisters. 
Avenger Pay. So you could die to Foul Feast. Next time you play a unit this round, we don't have a unit to play. Let's hear it! Yeah, we can't play anything right now, so we'll, we'll hold on to that. It's a really nice elusive blocker, though. Hmm. Okay, we, we, we get another unit from this because Revna is summoned, right? Maybe we'll get something. Huh. Yeah, I mean, you know. Nah, for next time, that's fine. I feel like just to stay alive, we might have to drop this to block the 6-6. Six, six. Uh, might be a play we're forced to make. I'm not happy with it because I like even more value. Like, we, we, we have this much value, right? But I want this much value. That, that would be one reason to make that play. Yeah, very soon our stuff is just going to be bigger than their Nautilus, which is which is great. That is fantastic. That ship looks familiar. Okay. Um, give enemies minus two, minus zero. So these two are still fearsome blockers. Eh, that's actually not that big a deal. It's only sea monster allies, right? Yeah, that's fine. All right, we're chilling, we're chilling. No big deal, no big deal. Oh. Great draw. It's just stalling and big stats. Come on, Ionia. Come on. I shouldn't be mad. I'm the one playing it, but come on. We'll see who beats tonight. How much mana do you cost? Five. Yeah, we really need to keep our our fearsome blockers alive. That is important. So it's uh, this is the play. And pass to keep mana open for atrocity. If they attack here, it's actually pretty. It's pretty scary because okay, now we don't have to worry about atrocity anymore. Okay, so we'll do that first, so we have another three-two to block like this with. See, that's two fearsomes. They pull one, so we still have two blockers. Is obvious. It's it's far from perfect, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Better than you. A misstep. Okay, let, let, let's throw like a really cool unit so we can bing win. Wait, two coins? It's perfect, isn't it? Oh. Skill is comprised of patience and practice. <laughs> um. Ah, sure, sure, man, sure. We're still dying to atrocity. Nah, they don't have it. I don't believe it. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're elusive, though. Right, they are elusive. Right. Okay, let's less than great. Anyway, here we go. What just? Something just get obliterated? Was one of the cobras not active? Is that what happened? I think that's what happened, wasn't it? Interesting. <laughs> hey, nine fifteen, Brom. How you doing? Get in there. We still have a lot of stalling. Like we have these two. We shouldn't be dying. I think it's scary though, man. Are these three Nautiluses? If I just not draw a single Nautilus, that that it's po it's possible that's what happened here. I think that is what happened. <laughs> they didn't draw a single Nautilus. All right, so we're gonna stun this nine one here. First time you summon another follower. All right. <laughs> this is a funny game. <laughs> Poor Deep. There you are. Hmm. 
That's the last one, I think, right? We, we recalled one. Play another one. All right, if they play something else, I'm going to have to replay. Yeah, OK. Um, I am not. I don't think I want to deny that. I think we're OK just stunning this. We could even go down to two HP, to be honest. I think we can go down to two. It's deep after all. They don't have any burn. So we let this hit us. I, I passed there instead of playing the Braum because I was very afraid of them having, like, you know, m more potential uh, scary cards. Like, this discounts everything by four. They played a Lord of Death. Maybe they had, like, another one of these, and then we'd be dead. So I wanted to make sure we had mana before the freeze. Yeah, see, exactly. That could have just lost us the game right there. Okay, let's get a really good unit. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's, that's great, even. One card left. We know they have a like one more Nautilus. Kind of wonder if I have to pull this instead. I don't think I do. <laughs> Just a bit scared of atrocity, you know. That was Nautilus's Riptide. We have to Winner replace this Revenant. Everything is fearsome. Still at seven mana. I could just die to atrocity here, but if I don't play anything, then I'm 100% dead. Okay. Without a sound. We have four blockers right now. And a freeze. That's okay, and a recall now. Great. Alright, so you can block anything. This should be fun. Help is on the way. Freeze that one. This creates uh, treasures, though. It might have been better to do the other way around. Because now I have to deal with treasures, too. Oh, I had to block this, actually. I should have uh, not recalled it and blocked it instead. Because now they get two treasures, right? I don't think it matters, because if uh, it depends on what treasure it is. Okay, that might have been wrong, but I can kill it next turn. I just extended this game a little bit, and uh, if they find a treasure trove, they could find, like, burn, I guess. Okay, that that one doesn't do much. There's one Nautilus in there? I think we just win when we play the, the Cobra, right? Thank you. Thank you. Mm, we have two attack. I think it's just lethal. 12, 14, the shadow hits. They block here. I think it's lethal. Alright, GG. Oh my god, that was a game right there, man. I think I made a small mistake at the end there, not blocking the... Uh the treasure monster because i would give them more cards when it's possible that we had to win through milling ah, gg a win is a win mono fiora wait is there even a way for us to beat that we have recalls i guess Let's just not play anything until we revna right just don't play anything small and there's a recall okay so we don't play anything until it's big enough Sure. Yeah, that works. There's uh, absolutely nothing on the field except very big chonkers. 
Actually, we could we could play the uh, accountant as like the only card because Fiora is a turn four card. Play this on two, get a coin. Their turn, we attack, we get another coin. Yeah, sure. Two coins is nice. Two coins could be a big deal. Sure. Yeah, I still think we play it though. Yeah, okay. That's annoying. Nah, I wish I didn't play it. Mm hmm. Ah, I mean, sure, right? It's, it's fine. No coins, but whatever. Double black flame. Okay, there's Fiora. Yeah, we're doing it. Always two steps ahead. Yeah, you can have it. I will cut you. And now we're at a point where we're gonna play Revna. And then we're not going to do anything until we're absolutely sure that we can recall their Fiora to reset her progress. Because he needs to kill four. We have three here. Nothing to hold me back. I never hold back. Try me. Just to give herself some time, let's freeze this, right? We don't have to do this. We can make them sweat for a little bit more. So, do we play Zet here? 8 7. Yeah, I think so. Pledge yourself to the shadows. And we'll just attack with Zet next turn. This is risky because now there's multiple units on the board. But we have Tag Out and Deny. Because he needs two more right now. Too easy. Yeah, I mean, I still have to find a way to win, right? We have Tag Out and Deny. It's nine mana. We have eleven mana right now. This will be quick. I mean, this is really funny. Because now we could we could just like put this in the black flame. And be like, good luck. <laughs> I think that's the play, actually. Is it? It's kind of difficult to say. Let them eat souls. This doesn't do it, right? This should just be fine. Because now they have to restart and they only have two cards in hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, th th this should be pretty rough for them to deal with. This is a 5-5, five five, so like, good luck killing that, right? Yeah. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. This is like kind of risky, but should be fine. So we'll we'll get double Ravenna here. We have another recall. Okay. Nothing stops us. Oh Nothing my stops God! Us. No, that was like a 22 20 with Master Bingwen. Okay, so what we could lose here to uh, Judgment. Thank you. 
We have a recall. Oh. Counter and strike. Is this supposed to be a challenge? Judgment. All right, GG. <laughs> we have to recall. I would have attacked like that if we didn't have a recall. All right, GG. <laughs> uh, ooh, yeah, Fiora games always kind of make me sweat. I have to make sure I do it right. I really like how this deck is basically just like, okay, find a way to double up Revna. It's like either either with the Cobra or with the Black Flame or with Bing Wen. That's the entire deck. That's that's all you're doing. And I love it. Just find a way to make Revna big and find a way to copy her. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, no fair warning though. This deck is gonna be wild in because it's like I'm not playing against tier one decks or anything, right? Uh, be, be a little bit wary when you try out this deck. Bing Wen. I think I'm playing this in case it's like uh, Merciless Hunter. We don't end up to just freely kill the Zed. I think that's why they're passing, because they have an answer. Yeah, love it when they run. yeah if, we, if we play the Zed, Zed would just die here. All right. I am the blade in the darkness. Double Zed is actually pretty sweet here because of Zed's Shadow Shift. Special for you. If it bleeds, it's special enough. You're dead meat. Okay. Got rid of the vulnerable. Thank you. This is probably another deck that we just beat by going really, really tall. I think that's a bit difficult to deal with right now. Win or lose, I'm getting paid. Quest for Revna. Eh, Cobra's not terrible, I guess. Sure. How many coins do we have? Faster than Plenty. My arrow? I think not. You can see the Devastian border from here. Okay, we're not in a great spot here, but it could change in an instant, right? With one good card. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. Out of the way. For the homestead. Your attack is obvious. I mean, it's probably gonna be another freeze. Or not. Now, double bing win. It's not really good enough, right? I mean, Elusa is good. So is Braum. How many coins do we have? Four coins. Plus three, plus three. I think it has to be Braum, actually. Because Braum can kill uh, this or this. Well, not, not this. This or this. Ash or the, the runner. God, I think I'm passing here, because that's that's a bit saucy. Pride was my end, as it will be yours. Take heart. It's not I dead. No Sucks though. After them, disintegrate. You are safe with Brom. Let's see what they do first. Because I'm pretty happy with this trade. Here, I guess. I'm wrong. There's a Revna, so now we're, we're pretty much in business now. So we double Revna here. I actually think we're okay. Can we stabilize if we if we coin the dual protector and use Revna next turn? I think we have to. Yeah. 
Our entire deck plus 10 plus 10. We could even play Master Penguin. It's not enough mana. So we just use the coins. Nah, we're just gonna play the Revna. We were born to rule. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, so now we got some big stats. So I'm actually going to replace the Cobra, even if it feels bad. Because I don't want them to pull a one health unit with an Overwhelmer. Uh, it sucks. It feels bad, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's the only play. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make me happy. It doesn't. Get one coin. We can't do anything with. Let's keep these two back. I'm pretty sure they're never going to be able to compete with these two. Okay, that's fine. It is done. Oh. We'll crush anyone who stands in our way. That's scary. Paint our faces with their Wait, did they have three of those? I think they did. Cut them down. No <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I, I, I think we're dead. I think we're just dead to the, the card that gives uh, double damage. The uh, curse of the three. Oh, that's curse. This isn't possible training. How did that move go? Oh wow, that's that's annoying actually. I can only do it like this. This isn't possible training. I wanted to block this with the highest. Uh, highest health unit, but these two are fearsome, so I can't. Yeah, dead. yeah that's uh, that's why I tried to replace the um, the vulnerable ones, right? I tried to play around it at every point because I would have very easily just blocked these two with the highest. I mean, I guess I couldn't because the other two were fearsome. But yeah, uh, GG, GG. I, I tried, I tried. We, we were a little bit too late with the Ravna. But GG. A good attempt. Good attempt. Vlad Brom? That's a face I haven't seen in a long time. Pretty surprisingly, too, because they did get like uh, one of the card reverted, the Crimson Aristocrat, I think it was. Actually made that a pretty, pretty potentially very scary card, giving like your really big Scar, uh, scar Grounds buffed unit overall. about who's better it's about the coin sky rounds did they draw it we'll take what we need to survive are you ready for a fight sure yeah because if they don't have the scar grounds yet i'm pretty happy taking that right they also didn't have like a second unit for their transfusion let us get going Passing. Oh boy. Let's pass here. Rum is on the job. Okay. Eh, all right. It's a poro. Sure. Okay. Uh, mission have bigger stats is once again activated. So we're gonna protect her, the Revna, and then play the Revna the turn after. Okay. War Mason, reporting for duty. For the glory of Noxus. Five five. Brothers born. Yeah, we're just gonna pass here and potentially use concussive. My shield is my sword. We should be friends. Step into the ring. Three fills three mana. <laughs> Bye, Poro. Okay. Until we become them. 
That is pretty powerful. Uh, okay. Another day, another fight. I am the blade in the dark. That's a 52. Oh my god. <laughs> We don't have deny, we do have no fire. They won't suffer. Have you met my shield? I actually don't think I'm pulling that even. Because if they have a transfusion or another way to ping this, Brom dies. And then we might we might actually uh, get in trouble Your with blockers. Ends here. I think that's fine for now. This is a pretty cool game. Yeah, Brom level. Not really a big deal. We don't, we don't mind that, really. Because eventually our stats are just going to be bigger. Also, I would love to know what you guys think about all the shorts I've been uploading. Uh, I've been doing lore shorts for a few months now. And a lot of them get like ridiculous views, which I honestly wasn't expecting at all. I took a bit of a break from doing them, which you know, I shouldn't have, honestly. Uh, but yeah, I'm, uh, I've been bringing them back. I have like three of them planned. I really wanted to play some Diablo 4 today, I'm not gonna lie, but instead I just made like a ton of shorts and ended up having a lot of fun. It was, uh, it was a good time. How much- hello, can I- is this two health? Wait, I literally couldn't see what health that had. So yeah, um, there's a lot more coming. At least, I mean, depending on what this is uploaded, at least three more that I have planned right now, and I'm, I'm gonna be working on more, right? We were born Bigger. More. Aww. We had that first. Would have been perfect. Hello, my darling. Okay, we do need big stats now to close out this game. We have two stuns. Cobra. Oh my god. Yes. We can give this elusive. Which is actually the only play we have this turn. <laughs> yep. Right, so we keep some blockers. We attack like this. Leave it to me to turn this deck into something elusive, huh? Yep. <laughs> Leave it to me. It's just blood, dog. That's a 20 attack, dude. This is 12. But we're, you know, we're the cringe region, so we have answers. I'm out of their league. Can take this. Mm. Bottoms up. Your attack is obvious. <laughs> Do not disappoint me. What could kill me here if I do this? There's nothing they can really use to play around that. Punish restraint. Only one coin. All right, preach. GG. Isn't this supposed to get the stats? Or is that because the entire board is full? Oh. Alright, GG. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wasn't meant to be an elusive car uh, deck, but there you go. Sometimes you just win that way, I guess. Alright, I actually think this was a really fun deck to play. It's super greedy, but... The Cobra, Master Bingwen, and Black Flame to print the Revna is hilarious. But the stalling early game, I don't know if it's enough. I think this deck could be refined a little bit. Like maybe this card isn't really that good in here. I think this is a bit of a, bit of a wasted space. You probably just want like more early game control, early game stall. So what, what would be good to stall here? Is there a uh, Fastian Disciple is not bad. I don't love this card because if you buff it and it recalls itself, you don't do anything. Avros and Sentry could be pretty good, just more draw. This for Barrier, Doran. Maybe uh, maybe it's even the... 
this one. The green grid lookout to discount your Cobra, maybe discount your Revenant. That could be pretty spicy. I think this might be better than this Inspire Mentor. And if it's not another unit, it's probably just more stalling. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this uh, this format when I record offline videos. I'm, I'm going to be doing more of these. I think sometimes it's better, more rewarding for me and hopefully for you too to connect this way instead of me just uploading VODs that I still put like a lot of effort into of course and I like talking to people live but still just because it is a YouTube channel I like doing these type of formats from time to time as well so let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video